G'day guys, Lawrence Pro, Dean Sylvester here. Now I've had this sitting at home, waiting for me for a couple of weeks now. So I'm super keen to get this installed and have a look at it. So let's have a look at what's in the box and what's involved with fitting it out. Get rid of that one. Instructions, probably need them. Module. Bracket, more bracket. Packing, more bracketry, transducer and cable, ethernet cable, power cable, clamp. So I'm going to have my transducer on a standalone pole. So we don't need the hose clamp stuff for the trolling motor or the hose clamp mount. So get rid of them. We do need this clamp mount, transducer. So I need my pole installed and the transducer cable and everything ran through the pole. Then I'm gonna look at where I can fit my module, depending on cable length. So I'm gonna mount my transducer on a pole. So I can steer this pole from the front of the boat, which allows me to put my trolling motor into anchor mode and keep me in position. And then I can look wherever I wanna look, wherever my lure's gonna be, or wherever I think the fish are gonna be. If you plan on moving around more and you're gonna purely be fishing on the trolling motor almost all the time, you can use the hose clamp and the trolling motor mount. That'll mean there's no extra effort of like, I've got to deploy this pole and I've got to control the pole. Whereas if you mount it on the trolling motor, you deploy the trolling motor, change this in the water, and wherever you point the trolling motor, that's where you're gonna be looking. But for now, I'm going with the option of the pole, because I plan on spending a lot of time in anchor mode and more than likely facing this thing towards the back. So this pole in particular, Hollow, hollow at the bottom. It's designed to have the transducer cable fed up through the inside. As you can see, it's all looped up. So firstly, I'm just gonna roll this out to straighten it out. So my transducer cable's all laid out nice and flat. I'm gonna feed it up my pole here. So that's all the way in now. We'll grab our bracket. So for the bracket, you're gonna need a five mil Allen key. You can see this is slightly on an angle, angling backwards. Got a little tab on the top. That's for your positioning. So make sure that is on the top facing upwards. So next, let's mount the transducer up. So I'm gonna run it straight away. I'm gonna put it in scout mode. Supplied, locking nut, washer. Behind these little tabs, the tab on there and the tab on the transducer. So I'm having it in scout mode initially and lock this one up. This transducer is set up in scout mode and make sure you leave plenty of slack cable. You want to be able to adjust your transducer position easily without affecting kinking or damaging the cable. Transducer's done. Now let's fit this module up and start the wiring. So I chose to mount mine it's protected and also clear from any other interference. You can easily access my plugs from there as well. You get supplied with a fuse as well, but if you're wiring it into a fuse panel like I am, you don't need to add that extra fuse, but just make sure that that power lead is fused. To make it easy to mount, I use a little bit of double-sided tape underneath. You can see it just down the bottom there just to hold it in position while I mounted the screws. Plugging in the cables, pretty self-explanatory. They got the descriptions above. So you got power, ethernet. Then you have the sonar cable for your transducer. So your transducer cable has a lot of pins. See that little guide there? Just make sure you line it up before you try and plug it in in case you twist any of those pins. So just line up that with a little tab inside the socket. So all of your cables, you push them in first, then tighten up the little lock ring. With your power cable, there's a red, blue, yellow, black. Couple of options. Red and black, positive and negative of your battery, that's obvious. Blue wire, you don't want. The yellow wire wakes up the module. So, here's your two options. One, you connect it to the yellow wire on your MFD so that when you turn on your sounder, it turns on the module. The second one, easier option, you connect the red and yellow together to the positive, which means whenever the power's on, that that module is on 
then when your units are turned on, it's already ready to go. I'm gonna connect mine to the yellow wire of my MFD just because the power is always on in this boat. So I don't really want the module power, like awake the whole time. So it'll only come on when I turn my sounders on. So my cabling neatly zip tied in, out of the way. So whenever you're installing anything new, in particular like something as big a difference as Active Target, you want to make sure all your units are up to date. So with everything powered, including the ghost trolling motor, you need to check for updates. So there's two ways you can do that. So the first and probably the easiest way is through the Lowrance app. So jump up there, my devices. So there's my ghost, front sounder, driver sounder. So you can see straight away by looking on here, a little alert symbol up there. Have a look, firmware. Is that update? So let's start the update. So it's now transferring the update straight from my phone. Nothing else I had to do, so simple. Second way to check for updates, make sure you're connected to the internet. I've used the hotspot of my phone. Settings, system, about. Now you're going to support, check system for updates. Now if you wanted to update the ghost from here, just insert an SD card into there. Now everything on my system is up to date. This clamp mount bracket that I've clamped around the bottom of this bar can also be clamped around the shaft on the ghost trolley motor. So it doesn't necessarily have to be clamped onto a pole. You can either use that hose clamp, like I said at the start, and put it around the motor. Or if you want to clamp this around the shaft of the motor, you can also clamp this around there as well. So I've just turned on my sounder and it's popped up with this pop-up to say active target has been discovered. So let's configure it. Fresh or salt, I'm going fresh. Active target features have been enabled. So now when we go to our pages, active target is sitting down there. Have a look at the modes. So it's auto, down, forward and scout. So I'm gonna set mine at scout. If you leave it in auto and you adjust the transducer, that'll automatically obviously change between down, forward and scout. Well, that was relatively painless, didn't take too long. Now all that's left to do is chuck this thing in the water, probably adjust my height and everything on this pole just so I can really hone in on my lure on, the, on every cast. But apart from that, I'm pretty keen to get in there.